do you feel like you are constantly hustling but not seeing the consistent results you deserve? Do you feel like burnout is starting to creep in? Well, if that's how you're feeling, it really is time to stop the hustle, stop the endless grind, and you can do it really simply by unlocking the four profit centers that will help you make consistent sales without burning out. So if you're ready to dive in to the four profit centers that are going to completely change how you see your business, let's dive in. So I'm going to walk you through this system that I've called the four profit centers. And essentially, it's a system that has been designed to help you streamline, focus and generate consistent sales and profits while avoiding the dreaded burnout, because I've been there a few times myself. So I know Nobody wants to go there. So let's start with answering this one simple question. What is the problem with traditional scaling when it comes to online coaching, online education businesses? Because the sad thing is most coaches burn out when they're trying to scale. And it's because A, they're either relying solely on the one-to-one coach to client format of working, so they're trading time for money, but also they're trying to do all of the things themselves. They're posting on social media, constantly showing up on social media, engaging in groups, uh, always launching, hosting live things all the time. Their business needs them in it constantly in order for it to operate. And the problem with that, obviously, is that it is just not sustainable. So we're here to scrap that completely, the traditional way of scaling, and come up with a much better way, a system that doesn't rely on you being on all the time, but still brings in those consistent clients and income. So this is where these four profit centers come in. So let's dive into what they are. Profit center number one is foundations. Now, your business foundations are essentially the bedrock of everything. It's it's what you're standing on throughout your the lifespan of your business. And without solid foundations, it is like building a house on quicksand. You can build and build and build and build, but nothing's ever going to feel 100% stable. It's always going to feel a little bit shaky. And unfortunately, things can break down and fall down with it with the moment's notice basically so in practical terms it means having a rock solid understanding of your expertise as a coach your niche so who your client is what it is you can teach them what the transformation is your target audience and your messaging these are essentially the foundation stones of your business and on top of those that's where you build your offers That's where you build your client attraction systems, conversion, et cetera. So I'm going to give you a little action step to help you start to review where you are in terms of the foundations of your business. But at the end of this video, I'm actually going to give you a free way to get a personalized roadmap from me to actually help you diagnose and assess these four profit centers to make it super easy. But I'll talk to you more about that at the end of the video. So the action step for foundations is uh, I really do encourage you to spend some time to really think about and refine your coaching niche, your client niche, and your messaging. Really answer the questions, who are you here to serve? Who can you most powerfully serve? And what transformation do you help them achieve? What do that group of people need the most? And how do you help them get the thing that they need the most? Make sure your positioning is crystal clear. And by positioning, what I mean is what makes you the obvious choice? What makes you the leading expert that they should choose? And this sets the stage for everything else. Once you've answered those questions and done that sort of deep foundational work, the rest of your business will feel a lot more solid. So profit center number two to focus on is operations. Now, I know that operations doesn't sound exciting. It's not the big sexy kind of sales stuff. But fundamentally, operations of your business is where you can save time, make more money and completely get rid of any opportunity of burnout. Operations are often the way to get money that you're leaving on the table, off the table and into your bank account. So start thinking of operations as the sexy, exciting part of your business, because the money is actually made in the operations. I know that doesn't sound like like logic, like not logical, like I know it doesn't sound like normal advice, but it is actually true. The money is made in the operations of your business. So streamlining your business processes, um, the client attraction, the conversion, the onboarding, automation and systems in your business. It really is the key to running a business that works for you 
not the other way around. It is the key to having a business that consistently brings in new clients and money without you having to be on all the time. Operations really is such a fundamental part of business success. So a couple of action steps for you today, um, if you want to focus on operations in your business, is take a look at where you can automate. What are the tasks that you're doing repetitively that you're showing up for that actually, if you put some systems behind them, you could be doing it more automatically. So for example, your email, um, your email newsletter, your email sequences, your client attraction processes. My client attraction is a lot of it is automated. Once I create one thing, it works for me for years and years and years. My business does not rely on me showing up every single day in order for clients to come in? Could you automate your lead follow-up or your client onboarding? So what systems can you put in place to make that day-to-day running of your business easier and more hands-off so that things are happening automatically without you having to dip your finger in all the time? Uh, Because the less you're manually doing, the more time and energy you obviously have to focus on the bigger picture, the more energy you have to create assets for your business and obviously to serve your clients as well. So profit center number three is client attraction. So we've got foundations, operations, client attraction. Honestly, with these four profit centers, if you only focus on moving these forward, your business will succeed. So profit center number three, client attraction. This is the lifeblood of your business because this is obviously how you're getting new people into your business all the time. But here's the twist. You don't actually need to hustle on social media every single day to attract clients. The key is evergreen content on global search engines like YouTube, your blog, so your website, or podcasting. And I did do a video on this recently, and I'll leave a link to it um, up above um, or somewhere on this video so you can go and check that out as well. Because evergreen content on global search engines, it creates this long lasting client attraction funnel that works for you forever. It works 24 seven while you're sleeping, while you're doing other things. So it's constantly working for you in the background, generating new people to come into your business. So a couple of action steps for you here, if you're thinking about focusing on client attraction in your business, is pick an evergreen content platform. If you're not harnessing the power of a global search engine like YouTube, like blogging or like podcasting, if there's one thing you do between now and the end of the year to get it right, this is what I recommend you do because it is so vital that you have um, presence on a global search engine. So pick one and start creating valuable content for your audience. Like I say, I will tag the video that goes into this in more detail. So over time, that content is what will bring clients in on autopilot. And this just brings me to an important point to note. A lot of times we're focused on the quick win strategies, the quick win tactics, like the vanity metrics of doing a post on social media, you get a comment, um, people like the, the, the reel or whatever it is. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in you, the the actions you're taking. I'm interested in those actions that are going to build long-term success for your business. So do something now that's going to feed you way until, way after retirement, basically. Um, I'm only focused on long-term strategies. And this evergreen content on global search engines is a long-term success strategy. Over time, That content is what's going to bring in clients on autopilot 24-7 where you're going to have money landing in your Stripe account, your PayPal account, without you having done anything to generate that sale. That is the opposite of hustling on social media, constantly driving forward to try and get new clients on board. So using um, a client attraction system is the path to no more stressing about what to post on Instagram every single day and what actions you have to take every single day to bring new people into your world. Because let's face it, that's exhausting and none of us actually want to be doing it. (laughs) So uh, profit center number four is client conversion. Now, obviously, this is the bow that ties everything up. These are the systems that you have in place or the ways, the methods that you have in place to turn those leads that have come into your business into paying clients and doing it consistently and predictably as well. So instead of constant launching and pushy tactics and hustling on social media, I recommend setting up passive sales systems. Now, I do teach 
active and passive sales systems. Most people, well, actually, I was going to say most people have the active. Actually, most people don't have any sales system. Um, but evergreen sales systems are um, your evergreen funnels, automated webinars, um, training and masterclasses that you have available that all have a funnel on the back end of them to convert your client, your, the people who are coming in into clients. So to do an action step on this, just think of one of the offers that you have and set up a passive funnel for it. And a passive funnel, all that literally means is you create a lead magnet, something that relates to the offer. You create a landing page where they have to give you their email address to get the lead magnet, to get the free free download. Once they go into your email, you send them an email nurture sequence that guides them to your offer without needing to constantly sell. Now you can just imagine for yourself, if you have even just one evergreen funnel working for you in the background all the time, where the majority of your active content is pointing to that funnel, you can see how people will be landing on that landing page all day, every day, different times of the day, and, and going through this funnel while you're off doing other things, you don't even know it's happening, and all of a sudden, boom, a client has landed in your bank account. That's how this works. You have to set up evergreen funnels if you want your client conversion to be automated. So let me know in the chat which one of these you're going to be focusing on. Foundations, operations, client attraction, client conversion. Let me know if you have some client attraction systems in place, some client conversion systems in place. These four profit centers are the most crucial things for you to focus on if you want a consistently, sustainably profitable business. And each one of these profit centers support each other. They all need each other in order to work. They create a simplified, streamlined business that allows that business, not you actually, the business is making consistent sales without you running yourself into the ground. So I hope that's made sense. Let me know in the chat. Are you with me? Do you understand the profit centers? Or what are your questions? So if you're ready to implement some strategies to get your business working harder, I've got a little gift for you today. So I'm going to gift you a personalized roadmap, 100% personalized, customized roadmap to identify which of the four profit centers you actually need to focus on to scale your business and what exactly you should be doing for in those profit centers to make it happen. So to get your roadmap, you all you have to do is take the Prosperous Coach quiz. It's free. It literally takes two minutes. And I will pop the link in the description to take the quiz. So once you've taken the quiz, you'll get your roadmap. And that will be the start of you being able to really build a sustainable and scalable coaching business. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, tap the notifications bell so you don't miss out on more content that's all been designed to help you scale without the burnout. And don't forget to take the Prosperous Coach quiz linked below. Like I said, it's free, it takes two minutes and you'll get a personalized growth roadmap off the back of it. So I hope you found that super useful today. Any questions, anything you're not sure of, pop your questions in the chat and I'll get straight back to you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.